Chris, Bradford, uh, Chris Bedford is the executive editor at Common Sense Society, a fine organization if ever I heard one. All right, Chris, is free speech really making a comeback? I'm suggesting it is. Well, I think there's some good signs out there. You're exactly right. There's a, a market for this. There are people who don't want to send their children to indoctrination academies anymore. You see this at Flagler University in Florida, where they're working to quietly make the place more open-minded. You see this at Catholic University of America. You see this at the, the new college in Florida, the University of Austin, a new school that's been set up in Texas. People kind of responding to that call that made Hillsdale so famous. But there's a serious problem here. Well, this market is still open to be served. The uproar that you've seen from faculty, the uproar you've seen from activists, the absolute vitriol and accusations of fascism you've seen from anyone who dares question this orthodoxy kind of shows that the, the absolute dominant force on this field is the left-wing academy, and their toleration for dissent is nearly zero. They use human resource departments, they use diversity officers, and they use faculty to try and suppress students or anyone who dare to speak out. So it's good to see some soldiers in the field right now, but we're still very much outnumbered in the battle for free speech. Did, did you see this one, Chris? Uh, students attending uh, one of the 64 state universities in New York, they'll now be forced to take a social justice course, and, if the, it, the, and that's in order to graduate. You don't take the course, you can't graduate. What do you think about that, Chris? It's not surprising at all. I mean, we see colleges across the country doing things like that. We see universities telling 18-year-old girls that if they don't take a vaccination shot, that they'll be expelled from school, unable to participate. We see people kicked out of classes uh, for questioning the teacher. We see teachers kicked out of classes for questioning the students. And this is producing an entire generation of people who aren't used to being challenged. You have now members of Congress, like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who say outlandish and silly things frequently because they went to a top-tier United States school where their dumb ideas were never once challenged. No one ever actually pushed back on them. One thing that's actually been kind of interesting about this sort of environment is it's produced some rather intelligent conservatives and, and contrarians who go through this environment actually pushing back against their students are constantly challenged, have to think for themselves. But for the vast majority of America, where it's much more comfortable to simply agree, well, they come out, just like you said in your opening monologue, uh, ill-served and uneducated. Oh, well said. Chris Bedford, good stuff. Come and see us again soon, okay? Like your style. Thank you. See you later.